Hello guys, welcome back to another Summoners Wars video. I hope you enjoyed the last video with the special Guild Wars setup, the Guild Wars game. If not, feel free to check it out. Uh, in today's video I want to talk about my monsters in general, what runes I gave them, especially in regards to the last uh, rune removal day on Saturday. I want to talk about the big changes I made and yeah so let's head right into it so that we don't make this video too long I will try to do it real quick. So we got Vigor here. These are his stats, he is at 91 crit rate and uh, yeah I mean you see what kind of stats he has, he is on a swift focus build, focus because I want to get his accuracy at least a little bit, a little bit up just because I want to have shred to uh, yeah to to apply at least with one of three hits as you have seen in my later video uh, in my earlier videos it doesn't apply very often so I might have to add some more accuracy um, there and there but yeah he is pretty um, stable monster he's really pretty reliable has a lot of HP a brawler and still deals a decent amount of damage so that's him. If I if I was able to choose, I would uh, I would go either Swift Revenge or Violent Revenge. I mean, Swift just because he has a nice um, base speed. So yeah. Then we have Talk. I didn't change anything about Talk as well. And um, he is slower than usual. Um, yeah, because. I switched some runes out because I needed some substats, especially crit rate. You see, he's at like 15%. So I switched out a few runes, but not in this this uh, setup here. And the last re um, rune remove. So he's on violent revenge with uh, accuracy, HP, and HP. I skilled accuracy because I like to provoke very much, and I want to be. I want to be, uh, I want the provoke to be reliable, and uh, so I use at 70% accuracy, and especially for Tower of Ascension, where where bosses aren't, where you can't stun or uh, freeze bosses, it's very nice to have um, reliable provokers. So yeah, violent revenge is always pretty nice. Then we have. We have this guy, Tractor, I made some big changes to him. He is now pretty fast, plus 63 speed, at around 60% accuracy, which is also pretty important, because you want his taunt to be reliable. If you don't have accuracy and you use taunt, taunt doesn't deal damage, and if everyone gets resisted, you basically wasted one turn. So you want to have some sort of accuracy and I ruined him um, Vampire Revenge so we have this, this and this pretty decent um, if you want to see like the runes in detail you can just stop the video uh, I like his build very much now he's very reliable deals a lot of damage is very fast provokes more or less reliably and he's on Vampire. Then we have Seek. Seek is still the same. Um, he's on Swift Energy. He's just on some leftover runes. I mean, they're not, not that bad, but it's not his perfect build. I mean, you want to go Swift because you want to have him buffed before like your nukers and your other monsters in the team so he has to be some sort of fast you know then with his 30% crit buff himself he, he is put he puts himself at 78 crit rate with 156% crit damage yeah so it's not bad I don't use him too often anymore because he's really squishy 
But if I want to go with a, a quick nuke team, then obviously he's an option. Then we have my good Tessarion. Um, yeah, I know he lacks in accuracy. I re ruined him to have a bit more resistance because he has an, a nice leader skill with resistance. So I want to have him at some resistance to make use of this of this leader skill. So he is on a f on really a bad set, you know. He's on revenge, nemesis, and duel. I mean, they are good runes, some of my best. <laughs> but I I would like to have him on obviously violent revenge or something, or violent nemesis or violent. Now because he's speedy you don't need to go violent um, violent will but yeah violent revenge would be the perfect set in my opinion especially because you have the chance to apply oblivion to multiple enemies at once yeah but I mean you gotta work with the runes you have and he still deals a lot of damage yeah so we have Juno that these are Juno stats 75% accuracy around 80 speed I got some grindstones for her today and she has some pretty nice runes as well she's pretty tanky she's on defense HP speed and you use her all, mostly in my guild wars when I need to strip stuff or I sometimes I also use her as a fire tank because of her passive and because of, of her high base HP and yeah moderate defense. Then we have Rakan. Rakan is I'm not satisfied with his runes at the moment. Are a bit fucked up. I don't use him as often. But he's on vi uh, violent blade. It's mostly because of this room why I don't use him. I'm farming dragons like crazy, mostly just to get one good room for him down here, but it just w doesn't want to happen. And yeah, for now I just don't feel confident confident using him because now I also switch some runes around, and he's only at 66 crit rate. Obviously, I could plus 15 this room to get another around. 20-ish crit rate, but I think it's not worth it. I, I want to wait till I get a better rune. Yeah. Then we have Trevor. Trevor is like crazy four star. I think he he should be a five star because he deals crazy amounts of damage. And yeah, he's slow as as nuts. You know, he's slow as fuck, but he he deals a lot of damage. And these are his runes, violent shield, yeah I know why shield, it's just because these runes have the stats I need, look at these runes, they're crazy, like crit damage with crit rate, it's, you rarely get these kind of um, matching combinations, so obviously you don't want to go shield if you had the choice, violent revenge, violent revenge is always a good option, or because he is so slow, I would think Violent Will would be an even better option. So you don't have to rely on him having some sort of immunity or um, like speed buffer or something. Yeah, because at the beginning Brawler's Will, his passive is not um, enabled at the, uh, right at the beginning. And if he gets armor broken, then he can get easily killed, you know. Yeah, but as I said, you gotta work with the runes you have, and I normally use him with Konamiya to speed buff him, so yeah. Then next up we got Copper, you haven't seen me use Copper very often except in my last video or in one video before where he screwed up, but now he is at 82% crit rate. 82% crit damage, I know it's pretty low, but I can't get him better than that at the moment, but he is on violent runes with a broken uh, subset. So we got defense obviously, 
some sort of defense substats here. I mean, 21 is pretty good. Then we have crit rate with also 23%. Death substats, another 21 down here. And defense already, or also in the left upper corner. It's not maxed yet, I know. I have mana problems at the moment. I always have mana problems. And this rune. So yeah, you will see me use him a lot more often um, now with uh, always, always against like Theomars comps. I will use uh, Delphoi, Copper and my Talk, but I will show you that in uh, the next upcoming Guild Wars video where we will certainly face some um, more Theomarses. So we got um, my Lucian next. He has some nice crit damage, some nice attacks, but he's also very slow, unfortunately. He's on Rage Blade. Yeah, just basic damage, one hit wonder, you know. Then, a Cases is not ruined at the moment. I, th I just don't use her as much and I needed her runes. <coughs> then we have... Bernard, Bernard just basic, just focus on speed accuracy, some HP as well, these are his wounds, just look for speed stops, substats obviously, then we have Delphoi, she's also on a <clears throat> really broken set, but I like it, it's not that bad, it works. She has like 60 speed, pretty slow, 40% accuracy. I should go with more accuracy because you want mind shock to really land. And I mean, if if lightning drop lands and doesn't get resisted, it's also very nice. So I should try and find some more um, um, accuracy accuracy substats. But you also want to have some sort of crit rate because she only applies the debuff when she crits, like with lightning drop. And her skills are maxed as well, except Spirit's Blessing, which is the most important in my opinion. But like Mind Shock is one of the best skills in the game. Obviously, if you have Cyros and an AoE cooldown reset, it's even better, but Mind Shock is also still pretty good. And it uses per uh, it uh, makes perfect sense to like put Theo Mars's skills, including his passive, on cooldown, and then you just can you can straight copper him, like thunder strike him, and he's gone because he doesn't have endure anymore because his passive is on cooldown. So then we made some changes, or I made some changes to Belladion, Belladion. Yeah, he's not as fast anymore, but he's more tanky now. Don't know if it's a good thing. Like sometimes my hybrid Belladon in the earlier videos is also pretty good because you want to deal, let him deal some sort of damage sometimes. It's more efficient. But these are his um, runes at the moment. And I will show you later on when we get to Veramos why his speed dropped. A little bit and yeah he's he's pretty hybrid has some sort of resistance more or less good accuracy yeah so then we get to Darian Darian has a new set he's on full revenge now uh, speed uh, HP 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 his runes aren't maxed obviously he was on violent revenge before, but I wasn't really, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the runes, let's keep it at that. But you would, I think violent revenge would be a better option, because if you have him at full revenge, and at so little resistance as I have him, then if he gets stunned, all his, his rune effects will get lost, you know, he can't revenge if he's stunned. But if you have violent runes, you're still able to violent out of stun, you know. 
Like the violent procs, they don't get disabled when your monster is disabled. But that, that's not the case with revenge runes. But still I like to use revenge because it's fun to play and I, I just had those runes left and I thought why not. But he has very little resistance and poor, poor accuracy as well. So yeah, I won't use him as much but he's on full revenge now. Then we have Asher. I like him, he's, uh, I really like to play with him, he's a nice monster. Um, yeah, he's on, uh, on, a, on a broken swift set. These are his runes. And I had a hard time getting him to 70% crit. I know 70% isn't even that much, but I still had a hard time. And yeah, he has a good amount of HP, some sort of accuracy, because sometimes I use him against Theomarsus as, um, Theomarsus as well. And you want to remove his endure buff and kill him with with uh, following hits of massacre. So if that works out, it's pretty nice. But you need some sort of accuracy to achieve that. If I had the choice, I would go um, violent. Just fun to massacre an enemy and get a violent proc and massacre straight afterwards another enemy. But because I don't have these kind of opportunities, uh, I don't have this choice, I will go swift because he has a nice speed, base speed, the same as um, um, Vecker, um, what's his name? Vigor, sorry, sorry Vigor, I forgot your name. <laughs> Vigor, and yeah, you would, yeah, you would go violent, let's say, either Nemesis, no, Violent Will or Violent Revenge. Yeah, I mean, you always go for the, the runes that give you some sort of bonus bonus effect. If you have all the substats you need, you will always go for runes that give you bonus effects like Extra Turn, Revenge, um, Will, and stuff like that. It's always a better option. Then we have... Um, Conrad, you have never seen me use Conrad, and I show you the reason right now, because he is very slow. He has only 70% crit rate. He has nice crit damage. He has also nice accuracy, and I really like him. And he even got a leader skill, and he's on Rage Blade. Oh, <laughs> some random um, rotation. In which I show you the runes right now, but I hope you got it. I know you you guys know how to pause a YouTube video, so yeah. Because he's so slow and he doesn't have like reliable crit damage, because you only have one shot to trade. Trade is like your your go-to skill. If if trade doesn't crit, then your whole your whole um, fight is is fucked up, you know. Because it has five turns cooldown. If you don't crit. You're just gonna tickle the enemy and you, you wasted the whole purpose why you brought Conrad. So you need to run him with some sort of crit leader, but then he's still very slow. Then you would need to go with like immunity as well. Or a speed buffer. And then, yeah, it's just pretty complicated to run Conrad, even though I would like to play him, play with him. And to compensate for that, you would need to go with Will. But look at my Will runes, that's all I have. And my only set is on Delphoi, because she is my immunity buffer and I wa don't want her to get stunned, you know. So she has top priority in regards of Will runes. But, yeah, let's keep that aside. I just told you why it's complicated to use him, but I will try to include him in some future guild wars. Then we have made some big changes to Veramos. He is, he is at uh, 210 speed right now. I wanted to get him faster because the more speed he has, the more times he can remove debuffs, especially armor break. When you have a high frequency of him getting turns, then you have a higher probability to remove armor break before 
the nuker of the enemy team gets the turn if you know what I mean and more that more speed means more damage and more turns and that means low cooldowns so you get I mean relatively low cooldowns so you can super crush more often you can apply more dots in uh, in uh, dragon speed 10 or just generally and I just like to run this setup very much um, he's on violent focus speed HP HP yeah this rune isn't maxed yet I know I'm working on it then we have Konamiya Konamiya is at 100% resistance some nice speed uh, yeah HP consider he's at 1135 and he is on violent broken yeah and then we have Orion Orion is also one of my new favorite monsters pretty nice speed decent accuracy and um, when I say nice speed depends there are way far, way more faster Orions out there. I know that, but in my in my constellation of monsters, he is pretty fast, and I'm pretty satisfied with him. And yeah, so that's it. I have these guys, but they are not ruined yet. And I have her, but I don't know what to do with her. Yeah, so I got this bastard in my last light and dark scroll and as a little goodie at the end I will want to summon another light and dark let's hope because we're on camera we get some lightning so let's go ah, please lightning oh, bullshit man what the fuck oh she, she isn't that bad actually let's see Disturbs HP recovery for two turns with the arrow that destroys the enemy soul. The enemy can't be revived if the enemy is killed with this skill. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. I thought she would ignore defense, but she doesn't. So, yeah guys, so these were my monsters and the changes I made to them in the last rune removal. If you have any questions reg in regards to your monsters, if you want me to help you out, I would like to do that and I will do it. If you, you can just message me or leave a comment on the YouTube video, that would be the easiest way.